Good morning and welcome again to my study on this very cold January day. I've been thinking, and I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm always really very bemused and upset about how on this rock in the middle of space, which let's face it in terms of the cosmos, isn't that important. We human beings can't seem to get on together. It seems that from the time we started to become human, we've always had tribes. Tribes which don't seem to be able to live together for some reason, when all the things that make us alike are much greater than the things that make us different. There's a wonderful original Star Trek episode where they find this race which is half white and half black, all across their body. And there's a big war going on because the people with the black on the right side don't get on with the people with the black on the left side. And really, that, like so many things in that series, reflects what human tribes are like. Absolute nonsense. Because in that episode, all is well at the end of it. I'm not so sure that's going to be true here. With the wars that we see in Israel and the Gaza and still in Ukraine and really across the world, I do wonder if we human beings will ever find the sense to get together and recognise how much we have in common, how much we need each other. And even as Christians, it seems that sometimes we can't agree. And I'm glad to say that tomorrow, Thursday, represents the start of what we call the Week of Christian Unity. A time when those different Christian tribes, if I might call them that, can get together and recognise that we have so much more in common than we have that is different. I'm sure when Jesus came to earth, he didn't come, it's quite clear from the Bible, for just one individual tribe. He came for everybody. And in Epiphany, we've seen how he shows himself to everybody. The three wise men coming from somewhere across the world to recognise him. How he calls people from all over the place to be his disciples. How throughout the Bible he meets people, different people, and gets those people together. And it does seem to me that it's critical as Christians that we recognise together how much we have in common because of Christ, in common because of our God, in common because we all want that wonderful peace and love which Jesus reflects. So we have a service next Sunday, the 21st, in the Abbey, a unity service where all of the churches in Persia will get together and give us chance to worship together. We are very lucky in Pershaw. Churches Together in Pershaw has been going for a long time and still gets together regularly to make sure we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Do you like that? I do. So, please, if you can, join us for the Unity Service. But much more importantly, pray next week and every day of the year that we Christians recognise that what we have together in Christ, in worshipping God, is so much more important than our differences. And as we do that, let's pray for the whole of this world, that every tribe, every person, doesn't matter what colour, what creed, recognise that being together, loving each other, sharing together, is so critical to the future. So, this week, Next week, every week, let's pray for that unity. Let's know that God is with us all and that Christ wants all of us to be together always. Amen.